Javelins, freelancers, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another quickfire update from Anthem Universe. I am but one of your hosts, Ogaz, and today we're going to talk about this new NVIDIA trailer. It's just dropped. It's advertising NVIDIA GeForce technology, and in particular, a technology called DLSS. Now, I'm going to get into what the hell that is shortly, but for now, let's actually look at what the hell is going on here. This is a new trailer, new content, new enemies, new environments. Let's take a look as the trailer kicks off right here all right GeForce RTX now first note is that the key of that tune is slightly different from the usual so that's something different for you there's more trombone and perhaps a little trumpet there sort of more bassy in its environmental effect that we're used to in the previous elements of the musical theme from Anthem of course the first scene you see here before John Warner's beautiful overdub is the tunnels now these are those conduits we've talked about previously the conduits that of course dive through and around the continent of Miris um, there's a few uh, instances where these were brought up in particular a stream with Ben Irving and Mike Gamble back when they were, this would have been October, when they were playing with the Storm and the Interceptor. In particular, I think Ben made a question to Mike, shall we dive in? And uh, the question was, no, no, we're not going to go there today. Um, so it'd be good to see as we go into these in more detail, as the game draws nearer, what these are actually for. But essentially, that's my understanding of these right now, at least in particular conversations I've had with Bioware with our previous gameplay tests, that they're essentially a conduit, almost a transport element that has invaded and I guess shaped and manipulated the world um, under response of the relics and in guidance, of course, underneath the shapers. So we'll talk more about that, of course, as we do. Let's skip forward for a moment, though. Technology has always helped Great shot here, simple screenshot. And I'm going to take about six or seven of these screenshots. We've posted them out on Twitter, and no doubt we'll also do those, of course, on the Discord. But look, there's a great screen grab that was taken from a very similar point. It's, I think it's a different environment, but we saw Bioware take a screenshot from a very similar um, vantage point of the Ranger in particular. And of course, a bit of lens flare. We're not going to argue with any lens flare, but let's move on, shall we? By giving players more immersive experiences than ever before. And of course, spinning up through what is this? Is this inside the relic? Is this inside? I mean, that, that blue hue is very familiar, right? It makes me think a lot about the relics, those giant relics that you have to silence, of course, out in the world of Anthem, and that great bombastic thud you might recall back when Colossus had to silence one of these puppies. Could be wrong, but this looks like the underpinnings, or at least the foundations, of either the relic or perhaps the turning uh, I think shaper objects you're going to see shortly in this trailer which by the way we have seen previously let's move on and of course familiar gameplay from the water out that never gets old does it guys god damn that never gets old watching any ranger emerge into the land from beyond the water is just something special and of course in this case we're looking potentially are we in free play at the moment i'm not sure it's probable um, there's no mission cues but it is important to note that there is no ui on this gameplay so just like some of their previous um, elements here they have removed the user interface to really create a real clean presentation here and of course you're not seeing any uh, weapon level uh, shields anything like that on screen right now to really create a clean presentation which works well um, it is definitely a, a gameplay environment because you'll see up on the left here in a moment a scar to the bang right there just to the left there you'll see a scar there in waiting so i suspect we're in free play mode right right, right now flying around in the world enjoying the engagement now, of course, here is another uh, uh, javelin. Now, of course, people have said, oh, it's a new javelin. It's the fifth javelin. No, I'm sorry, guys. This is just an interceptor. I don't know where people are getting that from. This is clearly an interceptor with a new uh, layer of armor and kit. Of course, a very unique and different layer of kit that we've seen in the past. But no doubt, um, I am pretty confident that this is an interceptor, of course, fighting the mighty Ursix. Look at that behemoth. Not long, guys. We'll be taking this puppy down very soon. Here, of course, we see a Scar mech. Now, you'll see in the background there, I'll just, just skim back a little bit just to confirm that. You will see, as part of the attack here, bang right there. If you look to the right, you will see a Scar enemy. And, of course, this is definitely a mech we've seen in one of the gameplay trailers, a very, very short cut that was from the from the Game Awards trailer, indeed. Um, is where we first saw this. It was a very, very quick shot, but it happened. Um, we didn't talk much about it, but here it is in full might, a mech. 
What are your thoughts on a mech? Is this something you want to see? Are you excited to see the Scar in something more formidable? I am. I think they need it. Um, they are kind of the grunts of the world, I think. Um, we're going to be taking them down by the hundreds. So it's good to see something that's really going to mechanize these guys and really bring their technology up to snuff with what we are brandishing with weaponry. It looks... Yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, take these out pretty quickly. <laughs> Now, this was the other shaper object I mentioned earlier, the shot that you saw at the beginning, the camera panning up through the blue light section. I suspect this is very much related to this particular object that you see here. And I think as this moves, this is definitely linked or interrelated to those conduits I mentioned earlier, and in some way, perhaps, to the relics that we see in the environment. Either that or the Dominion are managing to channel energy or parts of the Shaper lore or parts of the Shaper technology into their arsenal. Um, so I, I don't think the Dominion have created these. They may very well be some kind of satellite or receptors in order to, I guess, uh, to, to communicate and take command of the planet. But potentially, uh, they also, as they may very well be, elements that were left behind by the Shapers. More to come on that, no doubt. And here is, of course, Interceptor. I'm just going to pause. Um, you might have missed that. I'm just going to go back just a little bit. And th there, the slight purple glimpse down there. It's definitely Dominion enemies firing away. And I'm not sure if they're firing at Interceptor here, but there is definitely some trouble happening. or some Something is afoot in that little cave, and the Dominion are having at it. Again, this beautiful dive. Look at this. Ah, this waterfall. The world environment once again. Again, this crossover of this ancient civilization, like the old meets the new, the old shaper. And look at the, the foreground, look at the skybox they've got going on in the background there. This is just brilliant. This something looks, this is nice. This is going to look very, very nice, of course, in the final game, because it's already looking this good on PC. And of course, everyone is now thinking they want to play PC, but ooh. let's have a look at this. Mm hmm. Some grabbits. Now, this is a unique enemy. Now, I was looking very closely. If you do look closely at this, there is a, a beast element to this. To this, well, it's a monster, isn't it? This is a world monster. But you'll notice, of course, it's been weaponized. So the question beckons: How, who, and why? Um, I suspect the Dominion, because let's face it, it's always the Dominion, right? It couldn't be the Scars. Uh, the Dominion, uh, in some way, have worked out ways, and we've seen other abominations in the world in the uh, Game Awards trailer. And I think this is just another one of those abominations they've created by merging elements of the Ursix with uh, leveraging the power of the Anthem of Creation to create these monsters, these behemoths, and unfortunately now they are weaponized. Guys, deal with it. This looks scary. Oh my god. Mace of the face right now. Boom. <laughs> Now, as mentioned earlier, this is a shot of the Interceptor. Um, again, you can see the new armor, the new presentation, uh, to what we're used to with the previous elements of these javelins, but still, very nice, great lens flare in the background, very, very sexy. DLSS technology to Anthem. Final shot here of the lens flare interceptors flying through uh, the elements here, through the waterfalls, the usual stuff. We've seen it all before, of course, but a nice, nice shot into the skyline. Uh, and I think we can all agree that now everyone wants to go out and buy a PC with the GeForce RTX on board. Um, yeah, will that happen? I don't know. It's up to you guys, of course. Um, but look, uh, that's pretty much the end of the trailer. Um, the concept, of course, of all this stuff is to remember that this is to sell and promote DLSS support. Now, DLSS essentially is another way of... What's a better, a simplest way of putting it? It's essentially increasing image quality without actually hindering performance. So traditionally, you might be familiar with things like aliasing in games, like, which creates like triangle jaggies. Uh, games often have anti-aliasing to smooth out those jaggies to create a real smooth um, element um, to the presentation. Um, traditionally, though, the higher you go with anti-aliasing, the sig more significant impact on performance there is. DLSS essentially is a technology that basically increases, almost increases the resolution solution and actually improves the image quality of a particular image without the need to, and without the I guess drawback or limits on performance that traditionally comes with that. 
that's basically it. I'm not going to go any more into it because A, I don't think you care, <laughs> or maybe you do, uh, and B, I'm not too across everything involved. But no doubt about it, it's a form of super sampling. It's very cool. It's very sexy. And anyone who's going to have any of the newer uh, 20, uh, 20 edition uh, uh, GeForce cards are going to really enjoy this. I won't be one of those. I'll probably be sporting my 1060 still at that point. But uh, in my opinion, that's more than I need right now. Anyway, just some interesting insights for the latest trailer. I am at Ogaz. And of course, I am from Anthem Universe. If you can join us at Anthem Universe on Twitter, check out the Discord, which is discord.anthemuniverse.com. Of course, on the YouTubes, like, follow, subscribe, all those awesome things. Guys, have an awesome, awesome time. Watch this trailer over and over. We'll put the link for the original trailer in the comments. Enjoy, Javelins Freelancers. We will see you next over the wall.